Hello Collector and welcome to a new coin review. If this is your first time on my channel, go hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications. This way you will be notified every time I upload a new coin review. Today we take a closer look at the commemorative 2 euro coin from 2008 of the German Federal State series, also known as the Bundesländer series. Germany started this commemorative coin series in 2006 to pay tribute to the 16 states of the Federal Republic of Germany. The year in which a state is honored in this series coincides with that state's presidency of the Bundesrat, which lasts one year and starts at the 1st of November. The third coin of this series is dedicated to the Federal State of Hamburg. It features the St. Michael Church, a landmark of the city of Hamburg and considered to be one of the finest Hanseatic Protestant Baroque churches. The site where the St. Michael Church stands today has an eventful history. The present church building is the third one at the site, built three times between 1647 and 1912 and completely destroyed twice. The first church was built from 1647 to 1669, only to be destroyed in 1750 by a lightning strike. In 786, a new construction following the design of Johann Leonard Prey and Ernst George Sonning was completed. This construction lasted until a catastrophic fire in 1906 destroyed the second church but the city's Protestants preserved, and in 1912 the construction of the church that we know today was finished. This coin was released in 2008 by all five German mint houses with an issuing volume of 30 million coins. Each of the German versions carries a different letter to identify the German mint house that issued the coin. The coin, minted by the mint house of Berlin, is identified by the letter A and has a mintage of 1 million coins. The coin, minted by the Mint House of Munich, is identified by the letter D, and has a mintage of 8.9 million coins. The coin, minted by the Mint House of Stuttgart, is identified by the letter F, and has a mintage of 9.6 million coins. The coin, minted by the Mint House of Karlsruhe, is identified by the letter G and has a mintage of 4.2 million coins. And finally, the coin minted by the Mint House of Hamburg is identified by the letter J and has a mintage of 6.3 million coins. This coin was designed by the German engraver Ott Erich. His mint mark, which consists of a stylized combination of his initials, O and E, can be found at the right of the coin. The remaining inscriptions on the outer ring of the coin mention the country that issued the coin. Bundesrepublik Deutschland, Federal Republic of Germany, and the mint year 2008. Whereas the 12 stars of the European Union are split in 6 stars to the left and 6 stars to the right. Although the Euro also started with 12 countries in 2002, the reason for the 12 stars on the Euro coins and the European flag is a different one. The Council of Europe described the symbolism of the flag in 1955 in Paris as follows. Against the blue sky of the Western world, the stars symbolize the people of Europe in the form of a circle, a sign of union. Their number is invariably 12, the figure 12 being the symbol of perfection and entirety. On the edge of this coin is the inscription Einigkeit und Recht und Freiheit, which means unity and justice and freedom, along with the German eagle. On the reverse of the coin we have a geographical map of Europe, which covers the outer ring and then occur on the right side of the coin. The 12 stars of the European Union appear on the right side of the outer ring. Six stars at the top of the map and six stars below it, which are visually connected by six vertical stripes that cut across the anak of the coin. Superimposed over the map of Europe is the inscription 2 euro, the face value of this coin. 
the Euro's common reverse was designed by Luc Luix, a designer at the Royal Belgian Mint. His initials, the double L, are seen on the right side of the design, just under the O. That was all for today. Let me know in the comments which coin you want me to review next. And if you watched this video until the end, go hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and I see you in my next video.